Hello, hello, it's Alicia. And it is uh, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's around 1230 Eastern time on Sunday. And I am just going through my wardrobe, going through my kids stuff, getting a big pile of clothes to get to donate, right? So I take my stuff over to the Goodwill. And I am getting some things together right now. And I thought it would be really fun if I show you some of the items that I'm going to be getting rid of so that it can inspire you to get started with your closet clear out. All right, so I'm just gonna share a few tips and show you some of the pieces that are going to go into my big pile for the Goodwill, all right? So let us see here. Um, okay, so, oh, let's just begin with the first bit of guidance would be that the end of the season is a beautiful time to get into your wardrobe and to decide what you want to let go of. And the reason is because you will have known what you wore in the past season, right? So for example, in New York City, we are, ending summer soon. It's actually quite hot and humid here today. Um, but in the, the next couple of weeks, I know it's going to change. It's going to start to feel more brisk and cool. And this is an ideal time for those of us who are moving into fall to let go of the summer stuff. And if you're in Australia or somewhere um, where you're moving into spring, you would be letting go of your winter stuff. I think I got that right. Yeah. So anyhow, um, so I am going to be getting rid of some of my summer pieces. And the first thing you want to look at is what did I not wear, right? What did I not wear this past season? And then did I wear it this season the year before? Did I wear it the year before that, right? It's really fun to just to just pay attention to what you've been wearing. All right. So I've got a big pile over here, right? This is these are the things these are all the things that I'm going to be letting go of. So I'll just show you, I'm going to show you um, what they are. All right. So again, so getting rid of things that I did not wear. Okay. So here is a pair of shorts. Um, so these were given to me and I am going to let these go. All right. Here is a pair of pants. These are a pair of spring pants. These were also given to me. I am going to let these go. These are a pair of pants that I bought I bought these uh, a few years ago, and to be honest, I haven't worn them in a few years, okay? So I'm gonna let these, they're kind of like these flowy pants, I'm gonna let these go. All right, also have a graphic tee here, gonna let this one go. Um, a pair of green, these are, these are kind of like um, sort of khaki style pants, gonna let these go. Here is a denim jacket, gonna let this one go. Here is a white top, I'm gonna let this go, and a pair of printed floral pants, letting those go, as well as this printed dress, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you just wanna go through and you wanna pull out the things that you haven't really worn in the past season, okay? And then the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna try it all on and you wanna see how do I feel? Does this still feel like me? Do I want to continue to wear this style? Does this show people who I am? Does it remind me of who I am and what I love? All right. So when I put these on, um, you know, this dress, I got this dress in Spain. It's always fun to kind of go into the story of where you got something and feel free to do that. So I got this dress in Spain. It's been now several years. I haven't worn it in a while. And I do still love it, but when I put it on, it doesn't really feel like me. I think the length is feels a little bit short for me now. Um, so it doesn't remind me of what I love anymore. I still, I still like the dress, but it's not for me, okay? So you wanna go through each one, try them on, and be really honest with yourself. I haven't worn these in ages, okay? I haven't worn these pants in ages, and that's pretty easy for me to see that I'm not gonna wear them again. The denim jacket, this was something I got from a shoot. This was from a while ago. It's just not the style of denim jacket that I wanna wear anymore. It's very, um, it's like very fitted in the back and it's not really the silhouette that I want to move forward with. Okay. So, so after you try everything on, then you're going to decide if it's still you, if you want to move forward with that. And then the next thing you want to do with the pieces that you decide that you don't want to move forward with, then you want to ask yourself, why, why am I letting this go? And the reason that you do this is so that you don't make that mistake again, or so that you're aware of the reason that you're letting it go so that you know that you let go of pieces that have that problem. So like, for example, I just wanna say pieces that are given to you, I get a lot of clothes given to me and 
or if you get them for free or for really cheap, I just have to say, generally speaking, those are not really for your style. Those were someone else's style and it's really generous. And I, and I understand wanting to give stuff to people and I'm giving my stuff away right now in the hopes that somebody will love it. But generally when I get clothes given to me, they're not my style and they don't end up working. Okay. So like, for example, um, yeah, these pants, Somebody gave me these pants and I really tried to make them work, but they're kind of low waisted and I don't really like to wear low waisted pants. So then the reason that I'm going to note is that low waisted pants don't really do it for me anymore. These are really low. So I, I don't mind the style of the pinstripe, but it's the silhouette that I don't love. OK, um, these pants, these have always been problematic. I got these for cheap, right? They were cheap and the waistband has just never been quite right. It's always twisting and turning. So this is gonna tell me moving forward that I want my garments to be in really excellent condition when I buy them. I don't wanna be fussing with my clothes, okay? So again, this one, um, this graphic tee, this is, this is kind of trash, right? My shirts sometimes get holes in the bottom, if you can see really closely. I think it's from the zipper. I get a lot of holes in the bottom of my shirt. So anything that's not in excellent condition definitely is something that should be given away, okay? So those are some tips. Those are gonna help you to get started with your closet clear out. If you want more than just a couple tips and you really want to exude style, you want to exude confidence so that when people see you, they're like drawn to you because of the vibrant energy that you have. If this is what you're looking for, then this is the work that we do in 90 Day Style Refresh. It is what I help you with. This is my group program and it is a program that takes you through your total style transformation, meaning that you get crystal clear on what your style is and you learn how to express that through specific clothes. So, right, so you get the clarity of your style and then you get the strategies and the techniques to execute it with the correct clothing, okay? And we do body shape basics, we go through colors, we do outfit building, we do shopping techniques, and yes, we are going to do closet clearing. In fact, this is a little bit of a spoiler because I don't advertise this, but there will be a closet clear out challenge inside the 90 day style refresh. OK, and this is so that I can take you through my process, not so that you get my style, not so that you do things to have my style, but it's so that you can shape and refine your style. OK, so um, there's been some women who have joined the 90 day style refresh over the weekend and I'm so excited. Welcome to the beautiful women who have joined. And one of the women actually said to me today, she says, I love your style. She was talking to me saying, I love your style, Alicia, but that's not right for my style. And is the 90 day style refresh going to help me if it's, you know, if your style isn't my style. And that's exactly the point. It's not about my style, right? I am a stylist. My job is to guide you to your best style choices so that you express how you want to feel, okay? I know there's a lot of bloggers or style influencers out there who are selling you on a, a product or a garment based on how it looks for their style and then they're selling you on that. I'm selling you on finding your own style and expressing that. I am going to guide you to make your best choices based on your body, based on your lifestyle, based on how you want to feel in your clothes, okay? So what I wear and my style, my style, that has nothing to do with it, okay? And I use my style sometimes as examples, but the goal is to really zero in on what your style is so that you feel however you want to feel in your clothes, okay? So if this is something that you're interested in, if you're really ready to gain the clarity and know what your style is and to feel confident that you're making the best choices so that when you show up, you exude confidence and you exude style and people are just like, whoa, I want some of what she has. If this is for you, then you have got to join us in the 90 day style refresh. Okay. I'm going to put the link below. It's alishalankin.com forward slash refresh and be sure to enroll before Tuesday. September 14th because there's an early bird savings and it's going to save you a hundred bucks. All right. So go to alicia lankin dot alicia lankin forward slash refresh. And if you would like to book a call to discuss if this program is right for you, I am available to talk it through with you and help you make a clear decision. So when you go to alicia lankin dot forward slash refresh, 
scroll to the bottom, and then there's an option to book a call with Alicia, and I would be happy to talk with you, okay? So that's what I wanna share with you today, a couple tips to get you started in your closet clear out, and I actually am going to come back here tomorrow with some more tips about being a better shopper, so look out for me then. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.